uh, on this Friday afternoon as it is now. And we've reached our first singles match of the day on the women's side. It's a quarterfinal. Supernita Katong of Thailand up against Tai Zhu Ying of Chinese Taipei. Katong who got through yesterday when uh, Piki Sindhu had to retire. And there you see how the women's singles draw is uh, panning out. So we've got Herbing Zhao at the top. And many will fancy that uh, Chen Yufei uh, Han Yue quarterfinal looks uh, fascinating. And we'll be watching the Carolina Marin uh, Aya Ahori match uh, a little later on in this session on the show court here. But the music tells you that officials and players are on their way to the show court. Uh, my name's Trevor Harris. Delighted to say Steve Henderson's alongside me now. Uh, this women's singles quarter-final, even though uh, Katol got through yesterday because obviously PB Sindhu pulled out, Steam, but even though she'd lost the first game, I was quite impressed with her, and if Tozi Ying isn't quite on her game, she might have some trouble. Some, some strapping on uh, her left um, knee, and she was uh, testing it in the warm up form when I arrived here at the moment. Right. Black for you. Well, let's hope it is only uh, precautionary Sorry. because Sorry. had enough pullouts already. Three love on the head to head, you probably saw. Kat Tong's lost all three in straight games most recently at the Arctic Open a couple of weeks ago, round of 16. But as I say, she looked pretty impressive uh, yesterday, even though she lost the first game against Sindhu uh, before the Indian pulled out. Won the Southeast Asian Games in May, the 25-year-old, and also took home the Super 300 US Open in Iowa in the summer. 16 is the best that she's been ranked, the left-hander. And you can check on her progress through. Uh, she beat Blickfeld of uh, Denmark in three games in round one, and there's that match against Sindhu, which was won all in the second when uh, PV called it quits with um, just an issue we're underneath. I hope it's not a serious problem. It's had enough injury worries over the last year or so. Uh, tai Zhu Ying, who's 29 now, of course, has been a former world number one. Get to see that magnificent disguise that she has. The Olympic uh, silver medalist from Tokyo. And, of course, a world championship runner-up a couple of years ago. Asian champion this year, beat An Se Young to win that title. And 15 world tour titles in total. She has not been extended at all, as you can see there. Yvonne Lee, Ho Yu Po, neither of them gave her too much of a problem. Antonius Landry of France is the chair umpire. And he has a fellow French woman or a French woman for company as the service judge, Veronique Bertin. What have you made of Tai Zhu Ying, um, Steen, the last the few times you've watched her play? Um, I, th I think she's um, a bit from her top form. Uh, she's lost to uh, play. some players that she normally um, doesn't lose to uh, Pompavi Chochuong and Aya Ohori in um, the Asian Games individual event and um, Chochuong in uh, Arctic Open in Finland two weeks ago. So um, I'm not certain she's exactly where she wants to be. We can see this also strapping on the uh, right shin. There's a few walking wounded around uh, Ren this week. Yeah. Just over, over, no mistake. Ah. What do you need? Lever up. Ah. No pressure. Everything back up. Ah, make sure. 
We have a significant withdrawal in the men's singles today. Um, world champion Kunda Woodbitsan has withdrawn in his match against Sion from Malaysia. Well, yeah, on the men's side, after Axelson's withdrawal earlier, I think whoever still standing wins. <laughs> With the strapping there on the yeah. left knee. Ready, are, ready, are. ladies and gentlemen. On my right, Tai Tzu Ying, Chinese Taipei. <laughs> on my left, Supanida Katetong, Thailand. Supanita Katetong to serve, love all, play. So the tie is going to get us underway. This women's singles quarter final. So it's over. One love. It's only the first point, but the way that Tai Zhu Ying just runs her opponent around the court, is <laughs> always find it wonderful to watch. Uh, super technical skills, but that goes for both players. Nothing wrong with uh, Ketong's technique. And, um, she likes to attack. Says one off. Using her smash, jump smash even. You don't see that often in uh, women's singles, the jump smash. Oi. Oh! Ready, ready, and ah, the question ah, mark is whether two, one. Ty can keep the uh, error level um, reasonable here in the match. I, I think, like you said, Trevor, there's a lot of players that are oh. physically, but even more important, Say mentally uh, two, fatigued. Oh. A lot of the top players that have played a lot of tournaments, played many matches. So it's a good chance for um, the ones chasing them to um, to spring surprises. We've seen quite a few uh, over the last two weeks here in Europe. Size so over. Three. The other great thing about both of these players is they do get on with it. Let's see. Uh, too much stalling from Supernita Katong. No. So it's over. I think she needs um, a good start, um, Katong, given the fact that she hasn't won a game, as you mentioned, um, in the previous encounters. And you've got, you've got to find something that gives you confidence. You need to go a little bit closer on the lines, on the smashes. But uh, of course, it's only the early stages, so you want to make sure you don't oh, gift hey. points. And I think that, that's actually uh, quite a good strategy. Don't give points to uh, tie earlier on in um, the game. Five, three. So good start here for the tie. So she looked pretty good against uh, Sindhu yesterday. And uh, the last couple of times I've seen her as well, just looks to me like she might be ready to get, to get that step up. It wouldn't surprise me at all if she did get into the world's top 10, currently 16. That's perfect again. Six, three. Um, 16 is the magic word um, because she's in uh, a huge battle with uh, a compatriot, Pompavi uh, Chochuwon, regarding uh, Olympic qualification. Currently, Rachana Gintanan, who's injured at the moment and not playing until um, 
2024 is uh, ranked ninth in the world. So in order for Thailand to qualify two players, the second player after Rajnak needs to be within top 16. And there's actually uh, two players. That's Chu Chu Wong, who's 14, and Ketong here is 15. So they're in a tough, tough battle as to who's going to take the second spot. There's that <laughs> trademark disguise from Tai Zhu Ying. Never get tired of seeing it. Five, six. If you're on the other side of that, you kind of know it's coming. You just don't know exactly yeah. when. No, that's the problem. Knowing it's coming and being able to do something about it, two different things. So six three down to six all here. The number four seed. She knows your backhand, so she always had the plexus one ready, like a lady arm. Ah, So it's all seven, six. Ah, everything back, everything back. So it's always seven all. So the key here for Supanida Ketong, who I still deem to be the uh, underdog, is to apply just oh, enough pressure yeah. so that uh, so it's she can limit Eight, seven. Tansu Ying's ready, possibilities ah, so she can uh, either control the rallies or at least extend them so long that um, the error rate becomes too high for uh, for type super important for Ketong to stay in balance in the process that's a great rally this one Oy. That's a fantastic angle. Great hands. Nine, eight. Magnifique, as they say in these parts. Watch just no straight Oh, that's a beauty. Ten, eight. A deception from the front court created the opportunity and uh, that's where she's got so many options she can choose to hit the smash but uh, that one's pretty good as well you'll think with Tai Su Ying she's never won an Olympic gold she's never won a world title but if you had to choose uh, one woman to watch she'd be right up there <laughs> yeah. come close of course from both those silver medal at the Olympics and Beaten finalist in the World Champs a couple of years ago. Hey, 
This went long. Size of nine, ten. And she can do this, uh, Tai Zhiyun. She can give you a few cheap points. Yeah. On there, I would have gotten much more for the placement than 11, the uh, power. 10, and the ball. So, very tight at the mid-game break. Just a single point in it as uh, Canton gets a little bit of spray. Caught one twenty seconds. Caught one twenty seconds. Play. Kim the uh, coach of uh, Keton, very experienced coach. Oh, Rocky, Rocky, Rocky. Ah. Come on, Size over, 11 all. So difficult to deal with. Says so over 12, right 11. Right at the uh, hip pocket. Uh, super placement. It's an art form watching her play those shots. 13, 11. She'd be brilliant at fancy dress parties. Best disguise imaginable. <laughs> If we use nicknames 11. in uh, badminton like they do in some other sports, uh, would definitely be the magician. Not that time. Size of 12, 14. I think it's a very good idea to reduce the pace of the uh, overhead drop shots for uh, Kei Tong so Tai doesn't get um, the normal speed to work with on the drop shots. Just as I think the placement 15, in the smashes 12. would be the. Uh, Preferred option for the left hander. I think that's perfect. What's close? Sixteen, twelve. <laughs> Almost. 
the blink of an 12. eye. There's uh, some daylight now on that scoreboard. Yeah, could have gone either side. That's pretty much where we want to place your smashes. Yeah, judge. What the a bit of margin to the sideline. Look at that. Room for a little error, yeah. but uh, still pressure, very hard to get at for uh, your opponent. Say it's all. 13, 18. He looked a little bit unsatisfied there. Tai Su Ying, unsatisfied look at the line judge. I think he got it absolutely correct. Yeah, she knew. Otherwise, she'd be challenging. Just an uh, error of judgment. Oh, oh that's a nice shot. She certainly can't take the super leader cut on lightly. And she's a very spirited competitor. And she's not going to hoist the white flag here just because she's a few points down. No. This is not a done deal. 16, 18. Four points in a row for the tie. Over 19 16. What you begging, soup? Over and what? So that sets up four game points for the world number four. 20 game point 16. Well, there are some lovely game. shots in there from Tai Zhu Ying, who takes the opening game by game 21 by points to 16. 16. It's only 16. taken 17 minutes. And as the usual, some absolutely delightful shots in there. But uh, Kat Tong will be playing catch up. You tried my cross turn, just mid first. Huh? Okay, Mark. It's okay. Just keep super more post ready. Your, your, your forehand is straight. No. Cross turn if you can just middle fast. She wait for you straight. So turn or middle ready, huh? You sir, back and serve. Now, now you to forehand serve. <laughs>
Second game. Love all. Play. So seven games between these two women. Ties the Eagles won the lot. Canton has to find some uh, belief. And uh, those kind of errors from her opponent will help. Says over. One love. And today we could um, hear some of the coaching. Especially the one from uh, Kim Ji Hyun, Lai Ching Ching, on the Chinese Taipei side. Didn't have so much to add on that. That's understandable. Things went as planned pretty much for Tai Su Ying in the first game. But one of the things I heard um, Kim Ji Hyun advise Ke Chong was to not play too much straight from her forehand because Tai Su Ying was waiting for it. So use more crosses to the backhand side. The Problem that she needs to be careful about is that of course she opens up her own Sorry, back hand side as One, well. Two. Gets on. And that's one of the things that, that makes Tai Chi Ying so strong is that oh. is that um, she has a lot of options even under uh, a rather significant pressure. So that's that's what's really interesting. What can, what can the players do when they're under pressure? How many options do they have? And some players get very limited when they're under pressure, whilst they have uh, a lot of options when when they are uh, ahead in the rallies. Oh, that's beautiful placement. Always backhand ready. Ties over. She's got so Three. many options. Three. Even under pressure. Well, a couple of uh, misjudgments from Tai Yu Ying so far in this match. Four, two. I think Tsai is playing a little bit with the uh, drift at the moment. Oh, she's, she's playing in this second game with that little drift there is. That's the way to uh, put it. Oh. Oh. Good lead. Yeah. I think I might have Five, been two. to challenge and I've been tight. It's a good start in this second game for the 25-year-old. Another one that Tai Chi Ying is misjudged. Six, two. And she can do this sometimes, and My obviously giving ready encouragement ready to Kat Tong. And, and uh, Kat Tong was, was close in um, the first game and, and reasonably uh, along in the second in the loss in uh, Finland, 19 and 16. That's the best result that she's uh, had in three previous encounters. Says our. Size of seven, three. Five, 
Suddenly, he's got a big gap now. Mainly because Tai Ying's left a couple but landed in, made a couple of errors also. Katong avoiding unforced errors herself. Hasn't really had to do too much apart from stay in the rally. Yeah, exactly. So he knows that Tai Ji is going to hit some winners like this. But more errors than winners in the second game so far for the woman from Chinese Taipei. Good follow-up. Like it's on, but didn't Tai Ying do well to get that back at all? This one here. It's not a lot of room. She almost played it with the back to where she aimed. Well, this is tremendous stuff from the tie. Then four. Storming away in this second game. No, no, it's okay. Play. So a massive lead, seven points Eleven clear at the mid-game break. And every chance, she's going to push Tai Ji Ying to three for the first time in her career. Just be ready fast. Ready, yeah? Uh, every single time, get it back. Just find Cop every single one, time. Cop, 1, 20 seconds. Cop, 1, 20 seconds. On court. Keep fire, man. Super. Keep going, huh? Ah, one by one. Pull your backhand ready, yeah? Pull and, ah. Uh. Eleven four. Play. Oh, so Play. Missed it, but what a lovely disguise. Yeah, every time up, down, ready, ready. Twelve four. Kim Ji Hyun. Approaching uh, Ketong to be ready. I think Kim Ji Hyun forgot to give her a big dose of cool spray here. She's given her that in the previous intervals. Yeah. Mia, it's okay. More higher, more close first. It's okay. Ready for it. Always over. close to ready. It's okay. Five. Watch your backhand, Mia. Over there, Mia. Watching Tai Ji Hyun and she can sometimes ah, just throw in a game. Yeah. That is, you know, not characteristic of the way she plays. Mm. Then whether she loses concentration or or what the problem is, but. And the thing is that she chose ends of the uh, coin toss, so she must feel that uh, the end where she's standing now is the better for her. That's on one small card to check. It did look to us like it was wide. Go out. Mia, if you now complete the attack, every single time you put put back, she put she blocked her. Put back, she watched her. Very active um, coaching here. Yeah. 
So Kim so Kim and successful? Yes, not a lot of doubts about that one. Six, 12. Uh, one turn and you're ready. More fast, ready, car, more fast, ready. Play. <laughs> Full marks for effort. Did well to get to the first shot, actually, Katong. 7 12. She knows already. One more uh, first. Ah. One way of getting the shuttle back to the service judge. It's okay, it's okay. There was so much pressure on the footwork to that uh, forehand corner that she needed an it's extra okay. step to break. It's okay, Look at that. Took a step on the right foot. Yeah, so sad, so. Takes a little bit extra time to get yeah. back. Don't watch your forehand. Ah. You'll keep like this, Myra. Get up and everything. But it's a thin line because um, Ty pretty much had her outplayed. There it is again. Okay, it's okay. One body, one Sorry, side. Okay. Uh, Tai use shots like this a bit more the uh, deceptive drop shots and then perhaps mixed up with um, cross clears making the court big for uh, Ketong. Oh! Missed that as Maya. well. Maya, party more fast, ready? She knows you are. I'm faster. Ready? Over. Come. 14, 8. It's as much an exercise in patience for Katong as anything else at the moment. She knows she can stay in these rallies. And there's going to be the odd brilliant Tai Zu Ying winner, but also a lot of errors coming from her opponent at the moment. That said, it Nine, wouldn't be in the least 14. surprising if Tai Zu Ying rattled off four or five points in a row. So oh, that, that can easily be done. Well, not easily, but it can be done. We've seen it before. to give uh, ah, 15, Katong huge nine. amounts of credit for in this second game. Hardly made an unforced error. No. Ready for your backhand, ready for Basa. And just that puts pressure on Tai Zhu Ying, because she then feels she has to win the point with her own shot making. Ready, ready, ready. Both sides ready. Another one. Another kind of uh, unlikely scenario of missing a, a pretty straightforward shot. And now, Katong only five points away from levelling the match, and they are racing through it. We've only played for 32 minutes. We've nearly completed two games. So we don't muck around. Sometimes giving Thai some extra time can actually be a good solution. We've seen it also with um, Ketong's fellow country and Rachina Gintanon. They have both these players, they have so many options that giving them time to 
think about it and to make them choose between the options can sometimes be beneficial. Yet another error, and yet another point closer to leveling the match 17, for the 25-year-old left-hander. Play by Ketong. Yes. Playing with extremely good marking. Like like patience. Pretty much a done deal now that uh, Katong's going to take this game. And uh, it will certainly deserve a final game uh, decider. And the quality on show from both women. So, 10 game points to level up here point. for Ten. the tie. Game. And that seals it. So 21 points to 10. Second game won by. One game all. And it's going to be a one game shootout. First one time ever, Katong's taken a game from Tai Zhu Ying. Caught one twenty seconds. Caught one twenty seconds. Final game. It's okay. Come on, man. Fight. Love all. Play. It's okay. It's okay. Says our one love. Interesting to see whether. Katong can continue with the, the kind of discipline she showed in that second game. Very few errors. Yeah, because, I mean, given the uh, convincing way she won the second game in, it would be easy to hold her as um, 
a slight favourite to win this match, but I think we're going to see a different approach from Ty when they change ends than the one we saw in the second yes. play. Oh. That's a beauty. Super, like this, like this. Watch, always and she, that's what Sorry, she needs Sarah. to do, Ketong. She one needs to all. attack on the far side of the court there. Probe and again, look, really look there. it's placed. She's got Probe her Leo, smashes moved further out towards the sideline. Short. Oh, Every single backhand. It's okay. Look here, look here. Might don't leave her, might don't leave her. Ready, pass If she does lose this match, Taizu, you know, she'll look back at the numerous uh, errors. Although she's played some wonderful shots. Hasn't quite been the consistency there so far. Yeah. Says <laughs> over to all. Mia, they were longer. It's okay. Ah, so far. I try to go up. Be mama. Every time the player on the far side of the court tries to push their clears, play attacking clears, they've got to be very careful not to play it long. And that means that sometimes they end up playing it the opposite, play it short to make sure that uh, it's not an immediate error. Some of the shots that preceded that, though, quite phenomenal for both women. Thanks, Alvin. Three all. With um, this long rally, like this, huh? must be one of the longest ready, rallies of the match. Play. Play. Thirty-one shots. Huh? That's less than I thought. Six, oh! 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 Well, that's been a collector's Four. item of late. Of course, error from the tie. Oh, yes. They don't come back. Five, three. Super important for Ty to be in control in these uh, two rallies following um, that long, really good one. Much harder to work defensively. Defensive footwork needs a lot more energy. Six, three, five. Well, she's missed a few of those kind of shots, but that was absolutely bang on the money, right on the back line, just inside it. Over the shots of play, like, come, come, make up. 
She wouldn't be the first player in uh, Symphony de Caton to be uh, disguised to death, so to speak. Well, like this, okay, oh, it like it to the net. Normally, if it lands on the service line, you're reasonably satisfied. This is somewhere in between the middle of that in terms of net to service line distance. And it requires your opponent to take an extra step to get to it. And, uh, I think these long rallies are taking its toll on Ketong. Good chance seven. for Tai if she can keep the error rate down. Immediate challenge from Ketong. Challenges call in. Also to uh, sort of uh, get the uh, lactic acid away, get the pulse down. Good challenge, though. No, it was. Um, oh, my challenge is yep, successful. Sorry. One challenge. challenge remaining. So, a four-point lead for play. Tozi Ying. And far fewer errors from her in this uh, deciding game so far. Oh, that's a beauty. That was pretty much the perfect shot from down there. Nine, four. Just brushed the top of the net, didn't it? It crawled over. Oh, we didn't get it, unfortunately. That's well played by Keton. Says over. Five, nine. Stuck in, uh, stuck in the mud there, Bye. wasn't she? Symphony de Caton never, ever going to get to that. And one of the things that Tai is relying on now is to secure a lead here before the change of ends and then taking it from there instead of only having to play half a game on the far side with a lead instead of a full game, the second that she lost. So we're going to see her uh, work really hard. Well, the lead is six points a lot as of she goes to the mid-game break. Putting herself in uh, pole position here to take out this match in the next uh, five minutes or so. Ah, Mia, she now speed up. Uh, everything you did, she wait for this one. Uh. First time shot. Yeah, too short. Oh, of course, too short. It's too short. What happened? Die, uh. Longer, longer. It's okay. Start again, start again. You, you lift the stride straight to twice. No choice, huh? If you can one punch back, one cross turn, maybe. She now punch back, she goes slow drop shot. So punch back, one front. 20 okay. seconds. Okay. Not more. Yeah? yeah. Two points there. Yeah. 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 Eleven five. There was the perfect drop Play. shot by Tai Su Ying. Your speed, me. 
Another you know, sign of a class player is they can just step it up almost on demand. Exactly what Tozer Ying's done in this uh, deciding game so far. There was the cross clear. It's easier to keep it inside. You've got more ground to work with. Yes, come on. Come on. Six, thirteen. Seven thirteen. Thirteen. Again. Come on. Go in. Again. Ready. Missed another one. Yeah. Yeah. Take time. I don't need. Slippery. Line thirteen. Almost within striking distance again. Uh, gets on. Line 13. <laughs> She's doing what she 10, can to 13. keep this exciting Tai Su Ying. Well, from Katong's point of view, nothing like being handed a succession of uh, easy points. No. Oi, I don't think she should have played it. That's going wide. Wow. Would have done, wouldn't it? That's going wide, definitely, though. So the rock is stopped. Size over. I think Katong is feeling the uh, physical challenge now. Been on court for 52 minutes. Say so. 11, 14. Yes, come on. Splitting distance now. 12, 14. She looks a little bit uh, tired here as uh, tight. I think she's cutting some of her strapping. Yeah. 
So Katon has won seven of the last eight points here. Yeah. And, and even though I said she looked a little bit tired, she hasn't really worked that hard to sort of uh, catch Tai Su Ying, or almost catch her. the two points between them. And it's a well-known fact, you're always less tired when you're winning points. Yeah. That's uh, Tai Su Ying classic, though. 15, 12. And that was what um, Kim Ji Hyun warned uh, Supanida against. She's waiting for that shot. Attacking the backhand side of uh, Keton. Fantastic shot across from the forehand of uh, Supanida Ketong. Changes Size the momentum out. of the rally. 13, 15. This one here. That was the one that Ty didn't cover so well. And she still had the awareness to play it there. Excellent done. Over. 16, 13. A challenge and she won't win this one Super I don't think. Tuck it on. Challenges call out. I guess from her point of view she you know ties only five points from the finish line here but yeah, she needs to uh, she needs to hope that um, this is the one that is just so close that it just catches the line. Challenge is successful. No challenge remaining. 17, 13. Play. Over. 14, 17. Play. She's still in it with a chance. Gets on, but she probably needs a bit of extra help from uh, Tai Shi Ying to make it happen. Seventeen. 
We're in for a grandstand finish here. Mea, your poor hand or back hand coming, huh? Your poor hand, back hand coming, both ready, racket ready. She was down 13-5. She thought one of the shots that Hetong played there might have been going wide from Tai Chiyin, but she couldn't take the chance. Yeah, this one. And she steered it beyond the sideline herself. Tried to sneak over, but didn't. This time, so you closing in here. 19, 17. Long and here are three match points for the world number four. 20 match point 17. Well, the second game she'll forget about, but she comes through in the end. 21-17 in the third, Tai Zhu Ying. A match lasting exactly an hour. Some fabulous shots from both women, and both made a huge contribution to the entertainment. But it was Tai Zhu Ying coming out on top. Improving her record Welcome against Kat Tung to 4 0. Although 21, the tie came 21, closer than 17. she ever has. Never taken a game from Tai Zhu Ying before. And the fan clubs here, as you can see. And we'll see the very popular 29 year old in the semi finals here tomorrow. Tai Zhu wins 21 16, 10 21. 21-17. 60 minutes, one hour on court. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, it'll be uh, mixed doubles again. Kusarianto and Kusamawati against uh, Xiang and Wei in the mix. <laughs> Ten, 
Judge, walk the court, judge, walk the court. Well, a warm welcome back to Wren. We've reached uh, match four on uh, quarterfinals day, and it's time for some more mixed doubles with uh, Kusalianto and Kusamawati of Indonesia up against uh, Jiang Zhenbang and Wei Yashin of China. They're the number eight seeds, the uh, Chinese pair. So, we're looking at how the quarterfinal draws panned out. If you're with us,